Hey Collector Bros, it's me Shinobi Nando and welcome to a very special unboxing. Today I'm doing something really, really different. This video has been months in the making. I'm so glad that it's finally here, that what I'm going to show you today has finally arrived. I don't know why I'm being cryptic about it, like it's obviously in the title and the thumbnail. As many of you know that I am a avid Japanese culture enthusiast, if you will. I've always been enamored and, and fascinated by Japanese food, cuisine, uh, their culture, martial arts, anime, video games. And it's always been a dream of mine to actually go to Japan. Now, at the time of recording, that is pretty much an impossibility. But I might have found a workaround because if you can't go to the kombini, why don't you bring the kombini to you? That's right guys, we are doing the Tokyo Treat Japanese Sweet and Snack Box. This is very similar to kind of like your monthly subscription loot crates. This one specializes in, as the name says, Tokyo Treats. So it's treats from different prefectures in Japan, different convenience stores, uh, especially the seasonal products that they have over there. They're absolutely mental. If you've, if you've never heard about it, go check out a J Vlogger, because sadly this is, this is like the closest I'm gonna get. For a while now you can check out tokyo treats website where you can sign up yourself this isn't sponsored at all i'm just showing you exactly where i got this each month has a different theme and this month's theme is uh, the month of may well that's when it should have arrived funny story is actually birthday the tokyo treats birthday seeing as may is my birthday i thought i might as well try this one out first so here's the box tokyo treats it was very nicely sealed package japan post um through the magic of editing we've cut it open because uh, <laughs> i struggle with it it was sealed very well like for anyone concerned this was really hard even with like scissors and a knife it was really hard to cut so that that's reassuring for those of you worried about the security of it and let's just open it up and see what we get oh here we go okay i'm so excited about this guys i've been waiting for this so happy sixth birthday tokyo treat as i mentioned before this this is may this is their birthday month it's also supposed to be my birthday month which is which is why i ordered this particular one tokyo treat community if you guys want to check that out oh uh, here we go so it see may is snack menu it describes what snacks we're gonna get in here uh, frito frito lay avocado cream cheese tortilla chips okay sparrow egg crackers you got the Kit Kats, the whole grain biscuit Kit Kats, which I'm looking forward to. N not so much, but hey, I'll give it a try. <laughs> I like how it gives it like a, a description of what you're gonna get. Lucky treat. So I kind of messed up guys. You can get loads of like treats if you use a code when you do, when you do do order yours, if you decide to order one and uh, yeah, you could get the Sakura thing one from the Cherry Blossom Festival stuff. They're still giving that away. Not me though, I, I forgot to do that. Okay, so you can see here, it is uh, very tightly and neatly packed. That's the corn potage. I'm just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look like, obviously I'm gonna try them and we're gonna look at them properly, but for now, I'll just we'll just, as this tradition, we'll just unbox it. Some more there. I'm gonna have to use a guidebook to kind of match these. Oh, I'm so excited. A little biscuit. <laughs> that was random. Little, little bunny, little biscuit. Right, this isn't medicine. These are sweets. <laughs> but they do look like, I don't know, ibuprofen or paracetamol that we get here in the UK. Now this is, uh, this is another reason why I ordered this guy because for my first one I thought we had to try fish and chips, Pringles. I'm not from London, but I do live in the UK. Fish and chips is everywhere here. So we'll give the, I'm, I'm looking forward to though. Although I did see on uh, Abroad in Japan that Chris and Natsuki didn't really like them. So I don't know, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Oh, these look nice. Look at that guys, Choco Treats. Now not everything is revealed the month before which is why I'm kind of like going through surprised, if you will. Uh, so the, the big items like the Kit Kats there and the Pringles from before, those are revealed on the website, the kind of big brand ones. And you get all the kind of little ones. This I am not looking forward to chat. I am not a fan now. A lot of the 
British people are gonna kill me for this. I don't like mint chocolate and I don't like orange chocolate, like Terry's chocolate orange. I know, I know. So we'll, we'll give that a go. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna try everything. I'm not one of those kind of people. Uh, I'll give it a go, but yeah, chocolate mint pop. I don't, okay. And lastly, what I've been most looking forward for is the, the whole grain biscuits. Kit Kat, Japan's known for their crazy and wild Kit Kats. I can't wait. Uh, you get quite a few in there as well, you know. Like, I'm gonna have to save some, share them with some of my friends. I'm looking really looking forward to these. Funny story, this actually arrived in April at the time of recording. It came from Japan, you guys can see that showed before. Um, this actually only took like two weeks, maybe three weeks to arrive, if that. Um, yeah, I did plan on this to, to arrive for the end of May, so I could do like a big birthday video. I was gonna do like a big announcement that I'm starting to do this, but it arrived, that's not a bad thing. That's like, like so, so extra points for you, Tokyo Treat, but yeah, your May crate arrived in April. Again, I'm not complaining. It, it does slightly mess my plans up for the end of the month, but I guess that means I gotta get another crate if I enjoy this. Also, as I said before, if you're worried about safety or anything like that, that seal was super hard to break open. So I know that it hasn't been tampered with or anything like that since it came from Japan, as you guys just saw in the opening anyways. Uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's try some treats, right? This has to be the best part of the video for me personally. I'm so excited. Oh, you don't understand how excited I've been wanting to do this forever. Let's try some of these unique and rare Japanese sweets. All right, I've got my guidebook and the first thing I'm going to eat is probably the Pringles fish and chips flavors. Pringles Japan are exploring the world with their fish and chips flavor. They balance tart tartar sauce with the classic salty flavor and these awesome Japanese exclusive chips or crisps if you're from the, they should have said crisps because it's, it's London fish and chips, UK. Come on guys, come on Japan, do better, All right? I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna try not to eat them all. Again, I've uh, seen Chris Broad and Natsuki and Joey the Anime Man eat these. And so they came a bit crumbled, but you know what? They came all the way from Japan, so I'll let it slide. I'm gonna have to have another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can taste the tartar sauce. Um, oh yeah, you really can. So that's weird. It kind of tastes like the fish batter, uh, a little bit, not too much. Obviously it's a crisp. And then, wow, do you know what? It's this really weird sensation. It is like literally, it is literally like getting all the flavors of eating fish. So like it starts off with the batter and it kind of tastes like chips and then Kind of ends with the tartar sauce. I don't know how they did that. Well, the flavors. I don't know if I like that. Well, there you guys. You can have another look at the can. Why I decide. Yeah, I really don't know if I like that. I kind of do. Maybe. But it gets an A for effort for the imitation of the flavor. Next item we have is this. I've always wanted to try one of these. I always see them in, in videos and J-vlogs. So let's have a look. This is a Umaibo Mentai flavor. The super popular umaibo is the perfect light yet junky snack that is perfect for curbing cravings and it's coming in this super savory and delicious mentai pollock, pollock flavor. I've never heard of pollock flavor, but okay, let's have a go. So like I said, from what I can tell, this is like a giant cheese puff. Ha! There you go. Look at that. Oh, oh wow, yeah. That's like a giant Cheeto, guys. Ikidakimasu. That is really light. Like, it's hollow. Can you see? I do like that. That gets an A. It gets a gold star. Platinum star. I don't know. Whatever my highest rating is. I can't even think right now. That is really nice. I need something to wash that down. Luckily, or unluckily, depending on how we look at it, I have this. Right, this isn't chill, which is probably a mistake within itself. Uh, so I'm literally drinking this straight from Japan because this box arrived today. Um, but yeah, let's give it a go. Let's just see if it's gonna... You hear that? 
Oh, I can, oh wow. It smells like an after eight. So this is Cheerio Kiss Chocolate Mint Soda. That's right. We're bringing you Japan's first ever chocolate mint soda. So it is, okay, so that's, it's a new drink with its sweet and fresh flavor and emerald blue color. This seasonal exclusive is perfect for a celebration. So yeah, this is what I'm on about. So Japan always does like seasonal products and seasonal things, and they vary to uh, prefecture to prefecture because of their like internal, their domestic, um, their domestic, what's the, the, the word I'm looking for? Domestic holiday industry. That's, I, it's gonna be after close enough, but um, I think I'm just distracted. That really does smell like an after aid. Okay, here we go. I do not like that. It tastes like mouthwash. That gets a fail. That gets a rusty shuriken. That is that it tastes like mouthwash. Nope, no thank you. I'll stick to Coca-Cola. All right, let's try these uh, Saku Saku cheese. Uh, my little guy book says Aji cheese. More cheesy goodness for our birthday treat. These crispy cheesy treats are the perfect light and savory snack to enjoy while watching a movie or anime. Is that like an arrow, arrow rip here? No, okay, I'm just reading too much into the packaging. We'll just do it the old Western style. Okay, so they look like puffs on there, but they're actually, they're like quavers here in the UK. I don't know if you guys have them in the States. They're like quavers. They're very plain. Eh, not edible. They're not very plain though. Japan's not known for its cheese except for like Hokkaido, so you can kind of see now why um, some of my favorite YouTubers are a bit disappointed by cheese flavors in Japan. I could say a, a bronze, a bronze star, I guess. It's passable, it's edible. Right, I'm gonna try these because I've never seen anything like it. It looks like a soup flavored corn potage. Texas corn potage snack, creamy Japan. Japanese corn potage, never heard of potage, is now here in crunchy snack form to warm you up on chilly and refreshing spring days. It's actually been like a heat wave here in the UK, so it's not been too cold. Let's give them another go. I mean, so these are like puff balls, like I was expecting the other ones to be. Well, wow, those really do taste like, like, wow. That is weird. That tastes like sweet corn. That tastes like literally like sweet corn. Like from a can, but in like a puffy form. But it's really nice. It's kind of like, you got that savory and sweet at the same time. It's very Moorish. I like that. That gets a, a gold shuriken for sure. Really tastes like, like, I kind of emphasize this. Okay, this is really strange. And I know I'm like saying, oh, this kind of tastes like, like I've never had sweets or snacks that taste exactly as they're described like the fish and chips i like i said i could taste the 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 tartar sauce and the and the chip batter i mean the the fish batter and these these have the texture and the consistency of a like a cheesy puff ball thing but taste literally like i'm eating sweet can a sweet corn even but from the can that is so weird there must be like um cheesy kind of flavor time so oh 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 just checking the guidebook here but yes this is like that big like giant what's it i have chopped into little balls can you see there hey so uh oh my ring at cheese favor this one is for the cheesy snack lovers the crunchy and cheesy corn snack from the makers of Umaibo, so it's an Umaibo, is sure to cure any cheesy cravings. So it's the one I really, really liked before, but like, like I said, chopped into rings. That is so good. Why is this one cheese flavor so bad and the other one's so good? That is ridiculously good. That is very Moorish. Mmm. Okay. 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 Wait, hold up. It has that kind of American fake cheese taste. You know what I mean? Like processed cheese. Yeah, they just have that weird fake cheese aftertaste after a few. Yeah, it gets a gold star. Right. Next, because I have a lot of these. I'm not eating them all. Avocado 
cream cheese tortilla chips. But I think they could be good. They're kind of hard to get into. Oh wow, they're really hard to get into. I'm just gonna do it that way. Full disclosure, I am a millennial, so I might be biased in your opinion to avocado, but I actually not uh, the biggest of fans than guacamole, so. No, I took it back, that's amazing. Oh wow. That is phenomenal. I, like, I might pause recording and eat these. I didn't really read the guidebook on it, but I think it's self-explanatory. Yeah, they're avocado cream cheese tortilla chips, and uh, they're really, really good. They're really, really good. What I'm gonna say, like dunk them. They're kind of small for dunking for like salsa or whatever, but that is really good. Next, this I was looking forward to. I've heard and seen these, so I was, I, I'm really looking forward to this. Bear with me. I am actually like quite excited to try one of these. Oh, Wow! This is very, like, the, the, right away when you open it, the smell just fills the room of, like, melon. I love melon as well. Oh, that's cool. So that's what it looks like. It's a little fish shape. Guys. That is amazing. Oh my god. I should probably review it. So it's like melon flavor fish thing. It doesn't taste like fish. Crispiness there. And then you can see on the inside, it's like a cream filling. Like an arrow. That's exactly what it's like. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the camera angle. It's like an arrow bubble, but melon flavor. Mental. It is so good. I need to stop because I will eat that all before I get to the next one and this video will take forever. That is, that is phenomenal. A little bit of information on it. Taiyaki time. Inside the two green fish shaped Monaki wafers, you'll find every chocolate with a sweet melon soda flavored chocolate. They said chocolate twice. So it is melon flavored arrow. It is essentially melon flavored arrow and I love it. And I'm going to be sad when I finish this because it, I cannot describe how good this is. Mm. Next up, we have these. I'm being Canadian, I am a connoisseur of maple syrup and pancakes, as is uh, my country's national pride. And these are maple syrup hotcakes. Uh, Bite-sized Japanese hotcakes is the way we want to start our birthday celebrations. Uh, sandwiched inside the fluffy hotcakes is a sweet maple syrup cream. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how Japanese maple syrup holds up to the real stuff from Canada. It is actually a pancake. Like, do you know sometimes they say it's like, a, oh, it's a pancake. And then it's like a sweet in the shape and the, and the coloration of a pancake. That is literally a mini pancake. That is literally a mini pancake. That was amazing. That pancake is amazing. Do you know what, chat? <laughs> that smells fantastic and it tastes amazing. That is like, that's amazing. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to save the other one for my messes or she'll kill me. That is like a mini, <laughs> I'm shocked by that. Again, they are really good at like, if they say it tastes like something, it will taste like what they're saying it is. Again, stupid as that sound, you know what I mean? If you live in the West, you have like a banana sweet, it tastes like banana. The maple syrup doesn't taste like a maple syrup cream. It just tastes like maple, like, like somebody just put hot maple syrup over your pancakes with butter. That is insane. Wow, I'd be fat in Japan. And apparently that's hard to do. I mean, I'm fat here, but you know what I mean? I'd be fatter. Uh, next we have this. And I suppose, you know, they can't all be winners. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Probably offended somebody or that. That's a full moon pawn. Ready for some moon viewing or munching? This crunchy cracker has a delicious salt Salty sweet soy, uh, yeah. let me try that alliteration again. Salty sweet soy sauce flavor that you won't be able to forget anytime soon. Is that a good thing or a bad thing though? Is that a good or a bad thing? I just want to comment while I open this. I think like value for money, this is like 30, 30 American dollars. And then there's shipping depending on your country. 
But um, yeah, what was I saying? That you can smell the soy sauce on that, and I like soy sauce. Um, yeah, but anyways, guys, I think so far value for money, it's been great because, um, well, you know, like I could go, I, I could have gone to Tesco's and get a bunch of sna snacks for thirty dollars, or you could have gone to Seven Eleven if you live in the states or Canada, wherever. Uh, you wouldn't get these unique snacks. Like America has a lot of crazy unique snacks, but I don't think anything quite like this. You definitely wouldn't get a soy sauce cracker. So no for me. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down. It's literally soy sauce cracker. Like somebody's just dunked soy sauce in a cracker or a cracker and soy sauce. Okay, moving on. I've seen this character and documentaries in uh, episodes of Japan, uh, Broad in Japan, and yeah, let's keep it. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this. I, I just can tell by the look of it. It reminds me of a sweet we used to have in Canada. I don't think I'm gonna, well, know, let's not judge a book by its cover, but these are Sparrow Egg Crackers. Ready for a surprise? These mini crackers take their name from the cute and bite-sized shape. And inside the crunchy, sweet, and spicy soy sauce coated cracker, is a peanut. Yum. They can't all be winners. I think based on my reaction from the previous one, I'm not gonna find this overly delicious. I do like some of the savory sweets they have, but. No, no. It tastes like a soy sauce covered peanut. But I need to speed up because we still got a lot in here. I think this is going to be another one of these ones I don't I don't like, guys. The Cabbage Taro. The Tokyo Treat team always fights over Cabbage Taro. Light and crunchy with a savory sauce flavor is what makes them super popular. We have to share them with you on our birthday. Well, thanks for rooting mine. Joking. I've loved, I've loved so far 80% of everything in here. Okay, like another cheese puff thing. They love their little cheese puff things, don't they? That's a new flavor I've never had before. Okay. It's not bad. That tastes like a cheese puff in, uh, wrapped in cabbage. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just can't decide if I like it or not. That is weird. Something sweet, please. All right, let's try these. What is this? This is the King's Melon Pan. These mini melon bread shaped cookies will give you the royal treatment. Inside the crunchy cookie, you'll find an addictive chocolate cream and they even have a melon aroma. Now, okay, so far we've seen that anything that is either chocolate or specifically melon flavor, I've gone gaga over. So, that's what they look like, guys. Ooh, let me hold that better. It is a biscuit, it's like a cookie. Yep, it is a melon cookie a melon cookie never thought i'd say that in my life a melon cookie with a chocolate in the middle that's so good that is good it's a combination i never thought i'd enjoy that's phenomenal i really want to eat another one but i also want to share it because that is that is something you have to share you get one of these let me know if you shared it if you just hogged it all for yourself while watching anime or something Right, next on our list, let us try. That I won't be sharing. I will be eating this all to myself. <gasps> it's grape soda. I love grape soda. It is impossible to find in the UK. I found root beer, uh, but I've never found grape soda. You have to import it. <sighs> this could be the best one yet. This could make me actually sad. Look at that. Look at that. I'm always holding them weird. Look at that, guys. guys that is literally grape soda solidified that was the best soda flavored anything i've ever had in my life i am not exaggerating for the video that was phenomenal i love grape soda that tastes amazing it it even tastes like those specific kind of grapes they use for oh those are amazing like the skin on grapes that my avo used to give me kind of I don't even know how they, like, I didn't even know they made grape soda, like, with that kind of grape flavor. That is phenomenal. 
I am sad that's finished. Three more to go. I'm just gonna try one of these. I'll read out the description and then we'll get on to the two big ones I'm really looking forward to. We're rounding off our birthday treats with cute and colorful mini strawberry milk choco balls. Pop them out of the package and get to munching some strawberry milk goodness. I'm not really a big fan of strawberry milk, but you know what? Like I said, everything's such an intense and realistic flavor. Is that the right descriptor? That oh, I'm game. Also, that's kind of, I don't know. I just personally think that making them look like medicine. That's good. No, that is good. I'm gonna have another. Okay. I don't like, like I said, I don't like strawberry milk. That is good. Oh, okay. Okay, they have a weird aftertaste. It goes really intensely strawberry. But that's good. I still like it. Come on. I gave it a chance. Box is looking empty now, but I have been looking forward to these so much when I read it on the website, because like I said, some of the bigger items, they do preview them. Like the Kit Kats like these. These are the Trilo Choco Sakura Mochi. Spring is coming to an end, so let's enjoy a little Sakura before it's too late. <sighs> Inside these tasty sakura and red bean flavored chocolates is a mochi gummy. A mochi lover's dream, let's do this. Now there's multiple, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of my family and friends to try this, because I think like, mochi is like Marmite. People I've seen have them, like Western people, like myself, they have them. They're either like, yes, I love it, or oh my God, what is this? Why is it like, it's like beaten rice, isn't it? Until it's like a gummy texture. That's what it looks like. Those look phenomenal. They look really good. That's good, man. That's good. He likes. So again, to us, it looks like a gummy. Imagine like a gummy made out of rice. It's really good. I really like that. The red, the red bean paste and the chocolate flavor mix really well. Because at first I was like, how is this... Um, Sakura flavored. I guess it's the two. Gold star for sure. Right. Lastly, we get to this. This is like your big treat. This is like the premium item that we're getting. This is one of these seasonal, um, the seasonal Kit Kats that you get at various prefectures, at various points of the year in Japan. They're always changing it up. They're always introducing new ones. Right? I've heard people complain that they find a really good Kit Kat or like uh, a variant that they like of Pringles or something like that. And then you, you'll never find it again. It's gone. But like enough babbling. I really want to try these. Even you know, the packing, packaging is just nice for this. Like that opens so smoothly. And here we go. I'm going to get one out. I'm going to read you a bit of information about it. Here we go. Crunch. These sweet Kit Kats are first for Japan. So these are brand new. There you go. Inside the chocolate, you'll find light and crunchy whole grain biscuit pieces. Yum. As somebody who lives in the UK, that very thought excites me so much because we like, it just looks like a really nice biscuit. I cannot wait. So I'm guessing instead of the wafer, it has that and it's just chocolate. So there you go, guys. Again, why I always hold it weird. Kit Kat. It's amazing. It's the best cacao I've ever had. That is, that is, that's freaking awesome. They're so Moorish. They're unbelievably Moorish and they're so small. You just want to like, you could easily finish a bag. I'm not gonna, like I said, I want to share these, but bravo Japan. That is amazing. Right guys, that was my Tokyo treat box for the month of May slash April. Technically May, got it in April, whatever. Overall, money well spent in my opinion. I think it's the closest I'm gonna get to, to going to Japan for a long time. Some of these things were phenomenal. They were so good, so good. It is a shame about the pop. Like it is literally mouthwash. I cannot express how much I dislike this. And I didn't get like, I don't know, one of the boxes that had one of the cool Pepsis or, or unique Coca-Colas that they have in Japan. Kind of like the Kit Kat. If I had to pick a favorite guys, it's either the avocado cream cheese uh, tortilla chips or the melon, the melon fish. One sec. This thing here, the, the melon takiyaki. Taiki. Oh, I'm so bad at names. The melon chocolate soda thing. 
that was amazing. Or the, the grape soda, sweet, as silly as that sounds, I just really love grape soda. And the ones I was most disappointed with were kind of the cheese or savory flavor ones, except for that Umaibo one, that was great, and, and the, these as well, like the ring version of that, that was really good. Uh, but yeah, I really like the sweet stuff, I like some of the savory stuff, uh, like anything kind of just cheese, pure cheese base. I guess this is the reason Japan's not known for cheese. Thank you so much for watching my review of this, guys, and unboxing. Uh, this meant the world to me. I, I want to express once again that this video wouldn't have been made possible without you guys. When I first set out the kind of goal of, of doing one of these videos and you guys smashed it out in literally a day, uh, again, I used the Twitch, the Twitch subs that you guys gave me over on Twitch. You can check out my Twitch channel in the link in the description my patreon and my donation page again will be in the description if you want to help me make more of these kind of videos or do more collector's editions unboxings and support the channel please check them out like i said you'll get a producer credit here in the video and a load of other bonuses i've been working on i'll be doing an update video shortly so please subscribe and hit the notification bell i will be doing june's uh, tokyo treat box and possibly one of the umai ramen instant ramen you know that you can get from the kombinis over in japan i'll be doing one of those boxes if you found this video helpful if you were on the fence and wanted to decide whether or not you wanted to try one of these yourself maybe you're longing to go to japan like me but sadly can't get there anytime soon and want to bring a bit of japan back home to you check out tokyo treats again that is not a sponsorship or an affiliate link uh that is just literally i'm just sharing with you guys one of the sites that I used and this would have not been possible without all the lovely people here that helped me make this video including a special shout out to Old Tailed Fox please check out his channel in the description he donated over $20 which pretty much paid for the the, the crate outright excluding uh, shipping obviously uh, get involved if you want a shout out or a producer credit or if you just want to support the channel and see me do more of these, if you really enjoyed them, I'm blabbing on. Like I said, I, was, I, I, I wasn't expecting this box to arrive today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Now I have to go eat all these sweets. I lied. I'm not going to share them. No.